Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Zine Interactive. In today's lesson, we will learn how we can tweak these seams that you can see here, quite visible, okay, uh, in front and at the back. And also, we'll see how we can add some refinement on the sleeves and this bottom part of our shirt, okay. So, what we have to do first here is that remove this seam here to remove this we have to merge these two parts now to merge these two parts we have to first of all remove the symmetrical link between them otherwise we won't be able to merge them and in order to do that you have to select both of them okay from the front side right click on it and then remove linked editing after that once it is removed the uh, linked editing you can select the bottom uh, the back part do the same thing select both of them right click and remove the linked editing done okay now what we can do here is that we can put this part here and this part here those are to each other and then here we will select these two points okay uh, with the edit edit pattern tool we'll select these two points from the top and two points from the bottom okay and then we can right click here and there is an option here called merge so when you will select merge they all will merged together okay so now there is no seam in the front same thing i will do at the bottom here select right click and then we have to merge it but before merging that we can notice it's quite not going uh, like uh, like same. You'd have to be straight. Okay. Still, there is a little bit gap here. So what we can do in this case is that. Select these two, right click and apply symmetric with sewing. Okay. And once it is there, first of all, we have to fix this uh, line. So we have to make this line straight. Okay. As well, this line. So once it is done, so you can select, right click, and see if there is merge. Yeah, this is merge, but before doing uh, the merge, I can right click here. I can select both of them. Okay. Remove link editing. Then take my edit pattern tool, select this point, and then merge done so make sure it is straight otherwise it won't merge now i can press the simulation and you can see there is no seam here so now let's tweak a little bit of of our sleeves here now sleeves are already symmetrical so we don't have to worry about like you know merging them now as I told you before, we have this internal lines. Now, what does the internal line first do? Let's see that. So let's make a uh, ellipse, okay? Because we have been creating the rectangle and polygon a lot. So let's make a ellipse here. So here is the ellipse, okay? Quite huge ellipse we have. Now, if I will turn this ellipse, something like, you know, flat on top of them.
and simulate it, it will just go like this. Okay, and and that's what we have learned in the in the, in the last few classes. But what if there is a hole inside this? Okay, to create a hole, you can create the hole through any one of these. Suppose if I want to create my own style of a hole, or hole so I can take the internal line polygon and draw my own line just like this. Okay. And once I will done, uh, I'm done with this, I can take my edit pattern tool, click on it. Okay. And then let's, let's move this in the center now. Okay, so uh, instead of edit pattern tool, I will take the transform tool and then I will select the pattern internal line that I created. I can right click over here and I can press the cut. Okay, when I will choose cut, so this will cut both of these patterns into two pieces. Now I can move this piece here okay, and delete it. So there will be a hole. You got the idea? And this is my own way of creating a, a, like a hole, my own style of hole. Otherwise, what we can do is that we can undo it. Okay. Let's take the edit pattern tool and select all of these and delete these. Okay. And we can create our own with the help of uh, maybe a square or a circle or any other thing done so i will take now internal ellipse and draw with the shift key and ellipse here okay and then i will take my transform pattern tool i can move it and i can right click here and cut it once it is cut i can take this one delete it so there will be hole now if i will press simulation okay And you can see how it went. Okay. So this is how these cutting tool, uh, these uh, internal lines work. And there are many other uh, like usage of it, which we will keep on uh, like learning uh, in like class by class. So I hope you have understood about uh, uh, like what are the internal lines. There are many other useful uh, like um, ways that you can use it for there are many possibilities and many usages of it so i'll just delete this part and continue so one of the, the like uh the use of it is to cut and sew different pieces like suppose i have this uh sleeve and i want to make a dual part of the sleeve okay so how i can do that I can take my internal line from here. Okay. Click here, press shift so it will be straight. Click here and then press enter on the keyboard. And once I press enter, it will be recorded. And you can see that it's here. I have the internal line. Now what I can do is that I can select this internal, right click the internal line and choose cut and sew. Now what it will do is that if I will turn on my sewing option here, okay. And then if I move it, so you can see it is sewed. It is cut, uh, it has been cut into two pieces. And then after that, it has been sewed as well. So if I will press my simulation button, so you can see what sort of a option I have it here. Okay. You got the idea. And now one thing I can do here, which is very interesting. I can take my... Uh, Let's turn off the simulation. I can take my this bottom part of this sleeve which I created and I can make it smaller. Okay, and a little bit taller. And once I will simulate it, okay, so you can see that it has become something like this. You got the idea? These sort of things you can create with the um like cut and sew. Like a, you can see a, like a band, elastic band here. But if you don't want it, you can keep the way it was before. 
and this is how I want it. So I will keep it as it is here. Now, one more thing I can do, as I was saying in the last, uh, that I can take any one of these lines and convert them into internal line. Like suppose if I will take edit pattern two, I take this bottom line. First of all, let's delete this point. I don't need it, this point anymore. Okay, so I will delete this point from here and from here as well. And now I can select on this internal line. I will, uh, this is not internal line, this is the edge of the shirt. And I can right click over here and I have here an option called offset as internal line. So if I will get this offset as internal line, it will give me this option and you can see that it is, well, as I will click on it, it is creating an internal line. It is offsetting this line as an internal line. So I can choose any value. I can go in the reverse direction, which will take it outside, but I don't want it to be out. Uh, I want, I don't want it to be outside. I want it to be inside and I can extend it. Okay. It means like it will go uh, like beyond, just like if you can see here, if I will reach to some inclination point like suppose like a triangle going in this direction okay or a curve going in this direction so it will start extending the line will start getting longer according to the shape so if you want to do that you can turn on this extension okay and you can increase the number of offsets so i can have one two three four lines here okay but i don't want as uh, like these much i just want only one so one and maybe 3.5 i will copy this one press ok and same thing i will do here right click okay and offset internal line and the same value because actually like oh, the last value that you record the same value and I will press ok and just notice that our like you have to make sure they are uh, next to each other. So once you have this, you can click on these lines, both of them, right click on them, cut and sew. Okay. Once they are done, you can simulate and you can have this as in this way. What here you can do the same thing. You can take this. Let's do one thing. Let's turn off the show to the sewing. It won't annoy us. So now I can select these. Okay. So we'll click it here. So I can centralize and scale it, both of them. Now, if I'll press this simulation, so you can see it has become like a tighter thing. But, you know, it doesn't look good on the t shirt. Maybe it looks good on the track suits, on those kind of things. So when we'll move to the track suits, so that we can work on it but for now i will keep it as it is here okay and one more thing you can do is that you can select this okay and you can make it smaller shorter okay something like this let's move them to Parts like this. That's it. But as you have made it smaller, the shirt uh like uh, shorter. So the shirt itself has become shorter as well. So what I can do, you can move this down and make the and take the edit pattern tool, take all these points and move them down so shirt can become taller as well. Okay, simulate it. And here we go. Okay. Okay, so I just have to pull it. So, fine. So, I hope you got the idea about the internal lines and uh, some usage of it. We will learn more about the usages of it. And if you have liked my video, so please uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel yet. 
and also hit the bell icon and to support my channel please watch my videos online and do not download them otherwise i won't get any benefit out of it and which will demotivate me to make further videos so please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful but take care guys stay stay uh, safe stay healthy and keep learning on z interactive your own training institute if you're enjoying this series and want to binge watch the whole course without waiting for next lesson then join my z interactive early bird membership plan once you are an active member you will be able to binge watch all the courses without waiting for lessons to get published moreover you can support my channel by joining z interactive friends membership plan you will get a lot of perks with that also 